Oh. Okay. Uh, that's unexpected. Right. Not gonna lie, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I might just download a mod to uh, reveal that whole map because losing our, our progress is a little bit uh, annoying, more than a little bit. Oh, we were actually going to go up to the gas station. Let's do that. While squinting heavily at the road. Look at my map, I think we want to head back to the country club. I was thinking about following the river itself, um, but driving through West Point would be a pain. So we can sort of head down the middle of the map. Hopefully this fog clears up in an hour or two. Although we've certainly had days that were just all fog all the time. So it's bad to drive in it, but we can manage it, but we're definitely not going to try fighting off zombies in this. As, as far as I know, zombies do not give a fuck about the fog. As far as I know, they, they are not bothered by it at all. It just does not interact with their sight or pathfinding. Um, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's my understanding of it. We missed our turn off. Uh, we missed it by a mile. Okay, I think this is uh, maybe a bad portent. Like, literally, I couldn't see the side of the road. Okay, now this has cleared up a lot. about 65 it should be one car on the road ahead of us And once we get past the gate to the country club, so I mean, we're definitely not seeing a full respawn. Like I was worried that there was just going to be a blanket everywhere back to full population, but that is not the case. So that, or we would have just driven through 300 zombies. Um, once we get past the gate here, there'll probably be a dozen zombies between us and the river, or the stream. Yeah. So if there's any zombie north of that or west of that, we've um. We've driven back and forth there so many times running them over. Down here, not so much. So I was worried a full respawn would mean we can't like duck back to the country club and steal some more hedges at some point. In other circumstances, I'd probably run these guys over. Uh, but we do want to... Okay, maybe more than a dozen here. Um... We do want to keep our car in somewhat good condition. I guess we can we can repair it. Okay, I thought a dozen, maybe fifty. <laughs> Did I say fifty? I meant seventy. Okay, 
we're gonna have to get out and repair this car at some point, so. Sucks for these guys. Oh, I think she lived through that. Okay, we'll wait till we get to, to yeah. Then we'll wait till we get to a nice quiet section. This is Okay, so we probably just bashed our hood down to about 30%. Um, north here will take us up along the river, which we could do, but we don't really want. Go south, we just want to make sure we take the turn off before Ekron. So we want to follow this one around the bend and take whatever main road like this we can see going east. So we should be passing one residential road. Yeah, so none of this is indicative of any respawn. We just haven't cleared this area and haven't visited, haven't visited it long enough that it will even got a couple of repops. Actually, no, we probably have visited it within... Well, maybe not within a month. I don't know. It reminds me, I don't think we've stolen all the trucks and trailers from that warehouse yet. Oh, hang on, I've been here before. There's usually some zombies hiding in this area. Crap, I should have checked my map. Uh, well, like I said, I think we want any, any grey road heading in this direction. Surprised at how populated this road is. Okay, this is starting to look nice and clear. Other than the things, of course, that'll be chasing us. Let's see if we can get around this corner a bit. That way, if anything's running in this direction, we'll probably. There, yeah, we'll probably have lost it. put any metal in here. No, we'll have to fish it out of one of the containers. doesn't like a couple of um, angles in terms of getting under its hood. Okay, so that hood got knocked around a bit. It was actually, it, it can't get below 30 because of the bull bar, so we actually taken it down all the way. Now, rather than driving straight to the lure perimeter, we probably want to um, just get closer and hunker down somewhere for the night. So when we do get there, we have a whole day to play around.
Okay, this is where I thought we were. I think, I think this is where I thought we were. So this should then curve. We'll follow that and it'll spit us out on a road that will lead us to, well, north of the car wrecks on the way to West Point. Now, I think we had a safe house somewhere in that area. Um, here we are. Yeah, we had a safe house down there. I'm not sure if we're going to be heading that far south. Oh, it's 32 degrees. Maybe we could ask this zombie for directions. Oh no! He fell over! Uh, yeah, up around this curve. And then... Straight. And that will get me... To where we want to go. Some of these zombies are not very quick on the uptake. Ooh. A bag, he had a bag. We had to work so hard for our first bag. Well, actually we work hard. Well, we had to wait so long for our first bag. Okay, so we can probably sleep on the bridge uh, out of West Point. That has historically been good for us. Bad. So, in theory, you could follow these power lines all the way up to Louisville as well, um, though we're not we're not going to off-road it. I think that's the huge set that now crosses the whole map. So I don't think we've driven this road, which is why I'm still taking it a bit slow. So this should curve a bit, then go straight again. And more erosion off to the side of the road would make even a blockade like that um, more of an issue. Got enough propane that we could chop up a couple if we have to, but of course you don't want to be doing it oh, blood on the ground while there's uh, zombies in the trees. Okay, so we haven't been we haven't been here in probably, I don't know, six months. So even on our ultra limited respawn, uh, I expect this whole area is going to be crawling. West Point might not be full again, but um, I don't expect it to be empty. Although when it does spawn, it might have to do some strange migrating into, into blobs. This still feels a bit lighter than it was. Oh. 
thought that zombie was dead. It's like, no. Yeah, nice try, zombie. Okay, that's pretty thick. Pretty thick for our population settings. And this is why we worried about taking the truck with us. You know, we can we can detach from the trailer when we need to do serious car foo, but it's still uh, a bit unwieldy. Billboard. Okay, so I don't think we ever hooked this gas station up. Actually, I vaguely remember we might have. Maybe we just cleared it and looted it. Either way. sure we took the stairs out of this place but let's assume there's stuff in here until we know learn otherwise mother fucker that that is why I'm not dead yet see yeah, there's no staircase there he should not be here hurt to have more ways in and out, but as long as we've always got at least one sheet rope that we can go down with. There should be no way for him to be here, but we did think to check whether he was here or not. <sighs> yeah, hundreds of hours of being paranoid pays off seconds at a time. Crossword and a word search. Well, I was gonna sleep up here. I'm a little bit more against the idea. God knows why he's up here and not um, and why the place isn't just crawling with these things. So I could have stuffed this guy in a drawer, but I'm going to dump him out here instead. Although he can sit there. Okay, we're going to grind it a few more hours so we can go to bed late enough so that we can wake up, not super early, but early enough for our assault on the Louisville perimeter tomorrow. We'll do a little bit of bullet juggling, although reloading just does not go up after level 5. Obviously it'd be better if you did start with a point in the skill. 
Okay, so just because we're upstairs with no staircase, uh, doesn't mean we're not going to barricade ourselves in a little. In fact, I might even move the couch in the other room. What is, uh, what is one barricade compared to two? So all these supplies we left here, I mean, it'd be getting close to a year ago now. That's why you leave stuff places. Okay, so next episode we will hit the Louisville perimeter. We're going to have to go in guns blazing, secure the area, then do lots of looting. All the guns, we want the medical equipment, we want all the industrial lights, uh, maybe more electronic parts. Any M16s and M14s would be great, but failing that we'll at least take all the ammo. Should be plenty there. Okay, so if you've made it this far in the video, maybe leave a nice comment, leave a like, either way. I'll see you in the next one. You have a great day.